day number three on our little dry experiment here. Guys, this is what we're sawing this morning. This is either going to be a big epic failure and a terrible climax for this video when the uh, when the first slab comes off of it, or it's going to be a pretty cool video with some nice spotted maple. We're going to see what happens here. We'll focus in here on the end grain. I just made a fresh cut right there as I cut this log into two. It was too twisted and too much of a bow, so I cut the uh, twist out of it. So we're going to have probably a four foot and a five foot uh, log here to saw. As you, as you can see, that spalting right there on the end grain. And uh, I got this maple log the other day, uh, the other video that I posted a few days ago when loading the big maple. At the very end of the video, that smaller maple that I was pulling off the trailer, well, that's this one right here. And uh, I'm not sure how long it's been on the ground. Like I said, it came from a buddy of mine who tears down houses and does an excavating business. and. He had it up at his uh, throwdown yard where he keeps off his rock at close to my house. I'm not sure how long it's been there. So uh, we're going to open it up and hopefully we get some nice spotted uh, eight quarter slabs out of it. Well, before we saw up this maple, we got one thing in our way, and that's this uh, large walnut log that I forgot I had ready to go in the mill. But uh, I'm focusing there. You can see that sweep right there in the middle of it where it bows out. And uh, I'm going to have to cut that sweep out of there because one end of this uh, piece of timber has got a crotch on it. So we want to get that figure and not lose any if we can have to. So what I'll do is I'll cut right there at the sweep it'll probably give us two pieces of timber to saw instead of one but we'll get the most uh, value and the most board footage out of it that way without trying to saw the crown and the horns off of it by the method that would be required to get that sweep out
you guys excited? I, I'm, I'm excited here. There's nothing better than taking off the slabs and seeing what the wood looks like when you do your first cuts, especially when it comes to walnut and uh, these crotch logs uh, with the highly figured uh, crotch in there. Let's see how we did. I don't get no funner than this right here. Wow, that is some very nice stuff. And I ain't just saying it because it's my wood. You can see guys right there's the top of the crotch where it's shot both ways and it flares down a lot of sapwood but this is in the top of the log and uh, this came from a tree that was growing in an urban environment so we're going to have a lot of sapwood when it comes to trees like that but man this turned out really nice i put a little water on there a little and uh, what's neat about this guys is uh, that trailer is going to turn it's going to get darker and darker as the minutes roll by out here it's pretty green when you saw it up but it turns that good walnut color when it gets a little air on it 